हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग काय स्क्वेयर टेस्ट टाइप नंबर वन दैट इज टेस्ट फॉर गुडनेस ऑफ फिट एंड दिस इज आर फर्स्ट एग्जांपल फ्रेंड्स in the last video we have discussed what exactly is chi square test and there are two types test for goodness of it and test for independence of attributes i am sure you are confused with these two types what exactly these two type means so don't worry let's start with the problem and we'll try to understand what exactly mean by this this is the given problem the following table gives number of breakdowns in a factory on various days of a week so these are the breakdowns in a factory on various days and these are your days monday to sunday using chi square test check whether the breakdowns are uniformly distributed or not first of all chi square test is clearly mentioned in the problem if it was not given then what you might be confused with sampling no there is no point of getting confused why in case of sampling population sample mean standard deviation these terms are given in the problem here there are no terms like that so there should not be any confusion but here also chi square is mentioned so there is no problem actually but if it would not be given then also you should be able to identify also the problem is talking about only breakdowns there is only one factor in the problem therefore it belongs to goodness of fit goodness of fit means whether the data satisfying the condition or not so here the breakdowns are given so let us start now friends one very important thing always remember in case of test of goodness of a type 1 in type 2 the story will be different in type 1 always null hypothesis always assume whatever given remember this make a note of it always assume whatever given it is fixed and in case of alternate hypothesis no in case of alternate hypothesis you can say no to null hypothesis assumption it is fixed and this is for this particular type only test for goodness of it let's start with the problem what is asked check whether the breakdowns are uniformly distributed or not null hypothesis step number 1 yes please assume whatever is given whether the breakdowns are uniformly distributed breakdowns are uniformly distributed whatever is the given problem just say yes to it so breakdowns are uniformly distributed so this is first part next we do have alternate hypothesis step number 2 whatever is the null hypothesis we going to take opposite of that so breakdowns are not uniformly distributed i hope two steps are clear we have discussed in the last video what are the five steps so these are the two steps step number 3 is your los part los stands for level of significance here in this problem los is not mentioned since it is not given we can assume it to be 5% it's your wish let me assume it to be 5% one more thing required is degree of freedom remember in this type degree of freedom is n minus 1 in type 2 that is test for independence of attributes the formula for degree of freedom will change here the formula is n minus 1 n indicates your data how many datas how many values you have so here we do have seven values see here monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday seven datas are given therefore n minus 1 means 7 minus 1 so going to go to chi square table we want to check for 6 degree of freedom 5% los so this is the way we going to check the value and if you check in the table you will get the value of chi square alpha as 12.592 so this is the chi square alpha that we got from the table done with the three steps let's move on with the next step step number 4 is our calculation part so calculation we need to apply the formula so let me write it down whatever is the given is your o whatever given is o so observed we have this is the data for observed 14 22 16 18 12 19 11 14 22 16 18 12 19 and 11 
Now friends, we need to find it out expected frequency. What is expected frequency? What is our expectation? First of all, tell me that. We expecting breakdowns should be equal for all the days. It is given in the problem. Check whether the breakdowns are uniformly distributed or not. So uniformly distributed means what? All the days should have equal breakdowns. Uniformly distributed. All the days should have equal breakdowns. That means I am going to take average. 14, then 22, 16, 18, 12, 19 and 11. Expected frequency will change for each and for every problem. Here the breakdowns are uniformly distributed or not. That means all the days should have uniform breakdowns. That means same breakdowns. Therefore, I am going to take average here. So that is coming out to be 16. So expected is every day I want 16 breakdowns. So this is my 16. The formula is observed minus expected. First of all, let me find it out. So 14 minus 16 is minus 2, 22 minus 16 is 6, 0, 18 minus 16 is 2, minus 4, 3 and minus 5. Next is observed minus expected the whole square. That means I'm going to take square of this. So that is 4, 36, 0, 4, 16, 9, 25. Next observed minus expected the whole square upon expected from where i'm getting this idea this is the formula for chi square the formula for chi square is summation of observed minus expected the whole square upon expected so i'm just trying to find this term so first of all i found out observed minus expected then the whole square then i'm going to divide by expected so that is 4 divided by 16 36 divided by 16, expected everywhere is 16, 0 divided by 16, 4 divided by 16, this column divided by this column, 16 divided by 16, 9 divided by 16 and 25 divided by 16. So this is 0 0.25, 2.25, 2 into 4 point 0.25 this is 1 point 0.5625 and lastly 1.5625 so these are the values here i need to take summation so if i'll add all these values so the answer that i'm getting is five point eight seven five so the answer of chi square that i got is five point eight seven five so this is the addition of that last column so this is the value of chi square now friends it's very simple see just add this particular column and you'll get your result of chi square because the formula is this see the formula it's summation of this particular terms so this is a particular column so it's very simple let's conclude the last part of the solution step number five is my conclusion part as discussed what is the conclusion there are two possibilities either mod of chi square less than chi square alpha accept an h reject a h and the second possibility is mod of chi square greater than chi square alpha then reject an h accept a h here mod of chi square is less than chi square alpha because this value is 5.875 and the chi square alpha value was 12.592 so therefore if it is less we're going to accept nh and reject ah and if it would be greater then we're going to reject nh and accept ah so we accepting nh and what was my nh the breakdowns are uniformly distributed we accepting nh rejecting ah see here we accepting this the breakdowns are uniformly distributed that we accepting therefore the final conclusion is the breakdowns are 
uniformly distributed so we're done with the problem only remember the formula of expected will change here the formula was asked it is asked whether the breakdowns are uniformly distributed or not so therefore we calculated average in the next videos we'll see what is the change thank you